Hey there everyone, Nazar here back again with another video tutorial series Docker for beginners and in this video tutorial we are gonna talk about Docker or its intro video uh, tutorial of Docker after watching this video I promise uh, you that the concept of the Docker will be absolutely clear for you first we need to understand what is the problem statement that Docker is trying to resolve so whenever a developer develops any product that are certain issues which we probably almost every time occurs well that problem is whenever you are designing a project it work absolutely fine in your machine the developer computer but as soon as the project is being moved on the production state maybe it's a server or maybe someone else computer in that case the project usually fail to work with the same performance or same optimization or that the same level of the working even when that project is moved from one place to another place although there here we are talking about the big scale projects or uh, enterprise level project or applications <coughs> Uh, whenever like uh, you work on the project move um, project and move uh, that project on the web server there are definitely some uncertainty um, that occurs maybe your uh, calculation image is not loading and file is not uploading or downloading or some um, thing is uh, you said uh, working not properly a classic example when um, everything works on the developer machine but after that it's moved uh, to another place it doesn't work like uh, that so the classic um, problem is it's work on my machine this uh, further being the it's a classic debate the developer saying it's work absolutely fine on my machine you can come it's an example I'm saying it's a Let's say I'm a developer I'm saying it's uh, fine this project or application and work uh, properly in my machine you can come and uh, check while putting this project to a production or any other machine the other side developer says hey you probably uh, forget to mention some of the dependencies uh, say that might have installed while working on some of their installed uh, like well on some other projects and uh, that's why the problem is occurring so this debate is pretty nasty so docker is designed to uh, specially address the this exact problem it work on my machine first and foremost docker is just uh, completely a different thing and uh, it's uh, compatible with almost every programming language so, or uh, any project that you are working on it's like almost a sheet of uh, paper on which you can put anything and uh, it almost like uh, that docker allow to you uh, you have absolutely skilled uh, alert uh, container and uh, these container are uh, absolutely heart of uh, docker you can say it like that and uh, now we can uh, take this container and uh, whenever you are going to put this container it's going to work absolutely and exactly like uh, how it worked on your machine not only that docker also allow you to have a social container and uh, what does that mean like, uh, the container is also shared uh, just like uh, your social status you share a status on uh, your whatsapp or uh, instagram facebook it's allowed to you publish these container into like a social platform even uh, the docker hub if you go to bottom in footer here you can find the docker hub we can share our images yeah i'm going to docker hub here's hub.docker.com We'll discuss later about uh, this uh, docker hub here is some images 
and uh, you can set as a container. So Docker is a software that allow you to create these container and these container are not just any container they are super powerful and uh, are super packed up and consist a lot of things these containers are packed up with uh, your code your dependencies and your configurations some of these process that you're running some of the networking information that you are running and uh, in some of uh, special cases it's just also consist the chunk of some of the operating system that are responsible of tweaking out something in your code so in order to summarize we can divide this uh, docker into three main essential thing that it does for you number of uh, one thing it's a client side application program you can just install the docker and uh, it can does all the things for you including a uh, design container uh, for you including like uh, design whatever you want uh, and you don't have to worry about uh, anything of uh, your code and the configuration will be packed and uh, you can just move it anywhere you like uh, docker can also act as a service you can set and uh, can be uh, deployed on any um, server so that you can uh, take your container and can be deployed on any place you like uh, docker also um, act as a social networking platform just like you share anything you can share your docker image which we discuss here so that uh, whenever somebody wants to start at a giving uh, specific checkpoint it can start there um, and last but not the least docker is um, also a company that does and uh, manage all these for you so it's a um, intro or considered um, overview what is docker and uh, what you can do how is uh, helpful for you and in short and simple terms is we are a team of five developers three developers are using windows system three developers are using let's say examples we are six developers and the um, other three of these people is using um, mac os or one of them is using a linux operating system so it's very difficult the developers which are using windows they are um, saying hey this dependency or this file is not working with being this i am facing a problem with this dependencies same uh, thing will happen with the um, mac operating users or linux operating users to avoid these problems and uh, make uh, very easy uh, our work we use this docker so that's for this video and the next video tutorial we will download and install docker and we will run our first uh, program or image in docker.